we are starting in Cricut design space you want to pick your square we are gonna design our backdrop first so the size of our backdrop is four feet and which is 48 inches but because we don't want the words to cover the full backdrop our width is going to be 42 and the height I put at 11.5 because the Cricut won't cut more than 11.5 since my mat is 12 feet wide. So that is our backdrop. I'm just changing the zoom there so that you can see the full length of the maximum our words can be. So I'm changing the color because I don't like the black just for fun. Nothing really special. You can pick whichever color you like. So now that we have the size our letters are going to be, you're going to click on this text and we're typing the name of the couple. This is for a wedding. So I'm going to show you here. It's Mr. and Mrs. Situ. So I type that in and we're going to decide on the font. They want a cursive. With the cursive, they look very pretty, but it comes out very thin, especially the font I like to use but I'm going to use it anyways and I'll show you how you can come somewhat double up to make it a little thicker. So this is the font, is the Montgomery script. We choose that, it changes it. We're gonna expand it, but I don't like the distance between the words and also the way the R is far away from the M. So because of this, we're going to click on that again so that it highlights it and I'm going to go, okay, click any highlights, go over here to ungroup because they're all grouped together as one word. And you can see how it opens where the letters are individual. So if you click outside that box, you can move each letter separately to adjust where you want it to be placed. So now I'm moving that S because where the S and the R were connected, it was overlapping and did not look very good. And this R, I want it closer to the M. And I'm just going to make adjustments as I go. Again, I want to, I will leave this because I already fixed that part. So I, I select both together and then I can move it as a group over, as you can see. So if you want to move the whole thing, you just select all of it click on your cursor and drag across the words you want to move together so there we have I'm gonna put the and together also putting the words together allows me to make a bigger big make the words even bigger so that helps as well so here I'm selecting the full last name I actually moved it select the full thing click once you see that plus you can carry it over I don't know why it's giving me such a hard time but and then I move everything over there to the right. Now, because I move them around, they're not aligned. So I'm going to select everything, go over to the top where it says align, and I'm aligning it to the bottom. So it's going to make it all straight at the bottom. Now we're done with this. And because I said it wasn't as thick as how we would want it, I'm just going to duplicate it by clicking. What did I do? Okay repeat here so we highlight it and we're gonna duplicate it with that plus so then you have two of the words now what I have to do is just move this over and place it over the previous one and just make sure that everything is aligned enough that it just kind of it touches and makes the lines thicker if you can repeat this a couple of times but you have to pay attention to the circles that are where the R is and the S so that it doesn't cover all that up. Now when everything is aligned, I'm gonna high I'm gonna select all of it together and combine right there at the bottom. We're gonna weld it. Welding means when it cuts it doesn't separate the two sentences I would call them. So now it's all in place. We're gonna increase it again that purple is our backdrop. I'm just gonna increase the size to the maximum that it would be on the backdrop and that is our final design but now this is too big to cover my mat because my mat is 12 by 
24. So we have to cut this in half. So we have two pieces. So then what I do is before that, we have the, the date for the wedding. So we're going to add our date. It's November 18, 2023. And I'm going to change the font on that as well. I'm picking up the wrong thing here. But I'm moving this over so I can select, select the date. Move that over. I'm going to increase the font on that and also change the sizing. So the font I end up using here, can't quite remember off the top of my head. I don't know if it was the Babette, but we are going with the vintage bfc vintage so we'll select that i didn't want it cursive or you know like the others so that is our date i'm just gonna enlarge it a little bit more just estimate with the words up there how it looks and the proportion with that so that is what we are that's the size we're gonna go for so that is it for now I was telling you we have to split the words because they're too big. The date should be fine cutting, but the words are going to be too big. So we're going to work on that next. Moving the date aside, you're going to take your shape again, which this time we're putting the shape of our mat. So our mat is... 12 by 24 but because we're cutting we'll go with 23 by 11 just to be safe so it fits completely on the mat lock that in and then of course change the color because we don't want black i'm gonna move that down this is gonna allow me to figure out where i want to cut the shape so i'm moving that backwards so that when i move my word over then it will go on top of it so now i'm moving have to move the date to the side because we're not going to use the date so i'm just trying to figure out where i want to cut i say slice where do you want to cut it and i'm just moving the full word to see exactly where it would be i don't want to cut it right there because i don't want to deal with aligning both parts of that s on the m so i'm looking here if i slice it here then i have to figure out how straight it's gonna be with the and especially if i'm separating the words from each other but i decide that if i cut it right there all i have to align is that beginning part of the m so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put it right where it cuts and Again, our mat is the yellow, so we're going to cut right there. You select both the mat and the words, and you're going to go over here where it says slice, and it's going to slice it, so it's like a cookie cutter. And you can move that aside, move that, see how it cut that through. We're going to delete that, and we have our yellow in the back that it cut. So we're going to select this, delete it and also select our mat because we don't need that anymore and delete it so now we have two pieces that are gonna cut on the mat and our date so let's head on over to get it all cut and squared away so you're gonna click make it's gonna take you to the page where you make it's saying that our image is bigger than our mat pretty much at the top there so what we're gonna do here is click inside that gray grid and you can see it has a red ring around. So that tells you where, how far up the words go. So what I do is I just move that out of the way, kind of center it a little bit, move it down where it's not touching the red. And then hopefully that takes it off. And I just slide that down just to check on the bottom that I didn't move it too far so just adjusting it and then I go to the bottom 
to check again click on it and you can see it's within that red I don't know why it's still showing me that but since it's within that red I'm gonna click OK that's something I have to sort out at some point when I can figure that part out on the Cricut so and then we continue we're going with the burgundy which is this rich wine color just getting all that out of the package and I use the removable vinyl not the permanent vinyl just gonna cut the size of my mat because we'll probably need two of these so I just roll with the back side the grid part up so I can just easily cut my line with my mat still covered so it's not yet sticky I'm gonna cut two pieces because I know I need two and then we're gonna peel the mat here I use that same tape that came with it to put it back together so peeled off the mat and then I'm gonna roll my vinyl in the opposite direction that it's rolled up in so it's easier for me to align it and just slowly work my way rolling it on so I'm aligning in the corner should be straight fairly straight and just roll that gently on kind of like putting shelf wrapper so now I have to connect all my wires pardon me for that thought everything was connected that's where we came from the design that you see right there getting the USB plugged into the machine of course I already thought I had clicked make or continue but once you continue here it asks you for the type of material that you want to use and I have the vinyl there premium vinyl asks how much pressure I want I usually put more and then we're gonna load our mat you can see where the machine was flashing to load and then it's flashing to cut and then we're in business we're gonna give it time to cut once we get fully cut it'll flash again so that we can take out our mat and I always tell you that you want to pull your mat from your paper not your paper from the mat just so that it doesn't curl up and be, be harder for you to take off the excess and things like that so right now we're just giving it time my desk is not very big it's not very long hopefully I have a space soon that I can work and have all my things set up and not have to pack things away so there we have our design it's all cut out again peel the mat from the vinyl and that is it I'm gonna repeat this again with the other because we still have to cut the other word and cut out our date so this one is to cut out that other word it's flashing for me to load the mat so I'm working real quick here and we're gonna get that cut
have my transfer tape that I make with just regular tape except I put links off my clothes so as you can see I just grab here and there I just pick up the links from my clothes so I'm gonna use that I forgot a leveler to measure the height but we're gonna hopefully get everything straight so I'm gonna use this to pick up my letters so I'm just putting this over the letters and then I'll Take them off and then we can put it on. The back part of the letters are sticky, so that's what you're transferring on. So I just put that over what we cut. I'm going to use my ID to just press the letters down so it'll stick on the transfer tape, like so. Make sure you look or it can easily tear your paper. So you want to check it, make sure that it's picking up all the letters. This is trash. And now hopefully we can align it. I don't So that the vinyl part sticks onto the backdrop. I try not to rub the tape part, but the actual vinyl, so when we're peeling off the tape, it's not as sticky on the vinyl. And I didn't push too hard, I didn't push the tape too hard on the vinyl. With this one, it's a bit easier because we just have to align this part right here where we split.
and click on the subscribe button if this was helpful and thank you because it really supports my channel and encourages me to keep going. Well, have a blessed week.